Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I am back with another haul and this is another um, The Pharmacist Daughter haul. This haul was placed on, or this order was placed on May 13th and it was inspired by the 80s. Um, I received this on 521. So let's get started. So the first thing is um, the Holcombs include a card, Kim and Ansley, and this is, it has their details, so you can screenshot that for future. I will put the information in the down bar below as well. And they have updated their card. So previously, um, their card used to give their backstory of how they started, um, and then they would give you an invoice. However, they did do a, uh, poll, or they asked the question, I think, no, it was on a live, and they wanted to know if we still wanted to um, get invoices because some people don't really like invoices. Some people do. So they asked everybody their opinion and then they ultimately would make the decision as to which way they want to go. Um, obviously, you know, you, you get an invoice, you get a card that's extra paper. Um, and if you're trying to save the environment and cut down on paper waste, getting rid of the invoice is the way to go. But some people do enjoy having an invoice. Me personally, when I place my order, the invoice comes through my email. So I really don't need an invoice. Um, I mean, it's nice to get one, but I always can look up my information um, once I get my email because that email will show you what you actually purchase. So um, they have updated their cards now to say thank you for shopping small and supporting a big dream. And then that was my order number. And then it did did tell you what the next restock date was for. However, this um, haul is a little bit late, so I do apologize for that. So hopefully you were able to shop from this last restock. Um, I skipped this last restock because I have a lot of wax and I need to start focusing on um, the stuff that I have in my collection. So with all of the pre-orders that I have coming on the way, I will be getting more um, wax coming in so I'm really trying to kind of slow down during the summer so I can focus on my collection here and just basically melt through my stash so I thought it was nice because it shows um, Kim who's the mom and Ansley who's the daughter so very beautiful picture um, beautiful ladies they are so sweet um, it's a joy to you know know them and to be able to support their small business so let's Get started with the samples that I have so they always include um, samples and in this one I got three samples so this one is what is that blueberry muffin and this is blueberry and tea and cakes and I do enjoy a good tea and cakes blend I'm sorry guys my um, allergies are bothering me oh this is really good you definitely get the blueberry but you also pick up that um, tea and cakes. This is delicious. And that's what that looks like. Sorry about that guys. So the next one is shoulder pads. And this one is aquatic floral sea moss and ozone. Oh, this one is nice. It's exactly what it says. It's aquatic. It's floral. You get that um, fresh, a little bit of green from the sea moss. Oh, this is nice. Oh. And that's what that one looks like. Oh, sorry guys, I hit you. And the last one is Kitten Caboodle. So I'm quite sure those who are, I was not born in the 80s, I was born in the 70s, but I grew up in the 80s, so I do recall the Kitten Caboodles. Um, I've never had, I don't think I had a Kitten Caboodle before when I was younger, um, but I know what they are. They would be like those little Caboodles and you could put like, your little knickknacks. Some people will put like little hair products. Some people will put other stuff in it. So depending on, you know, what you wanted to use it for, it, it had multiple uses. Um, this one is apple, jasmine, musk, amber, and berry vanilla. Oh, this one is nice too. 
You definitely get the apple, the jasmine, it's very pretty, not heavy, the musk and the amber, it's a little bit warm, woodsy, or woody, not woodsy, woody, and then you get that berry. Oh, this one is a nice one too. I'm back guys, I'm sorry about that. My husband forgot or keeps forgetting that I'm trying to film. So, um, let's move on to the things that I purchased. And this one is The Breakfast Club. I have never seen this movie. I don't know why. I've never seen this movie. One of these days I will though. Um, and this one is Starbucks coffee, ice cream scoop bread, sweet and creamy. pick up the coffee it's creamy from the sweet and creamy and I pick up the ice cream from the ice cream scoop bread mmm this is delicious and look at that guys look at this thing of beauty such detail I love the 80s. Like, I love the, um, I used to have a, a crimper. I used to crimp my hair. Um, I used to wear, like, the, the tights with the leg warmers. The off-the-shoulder tops or um, little um, tops where you had the tank top on and you had the off-the-shoulder. And, um, or you had, like, those big chunky socks that you would pull over your top, over your tights and kind of, like, scrunch them down to make them look like scrunchy socks, even though they really wasn't like meant to be scrunchy. Um, the 80s was fun. Then you had the big chunky jewelry, colorful. Um, good times back then, good times. This one is Gag Me With A Spoon, and this is Blackberry Jam and Cotton Candy, and my little spoon came broken. <laughs> it's okay, because it's gonna go in the warmer. But yes, gag me with the spoon. This takes me back to when me and my friends, we would be at school and we would be talking and we would be like, as if totally rad, gag me with the spoon. Like that's how we talked. <laughs> and it was just good times back then. Good times. And you definitely get that blackberry jam. Oh, I can pick out the cotton candy really good in this one. It's like that blackberry jam is really emphasizing the cotton candy in this. Mmm. Very fruity and sweet. Some may say this is almost too sweet, um, but I like it. And look at this gorgeous spoon. And it's in my favorite color, purple. Yay. And we have Haley. So I purchased two of these. So um, Kim and Ainsley, um, what they do is if you have a charity or something that's near and dear to your heart, um, they basically said, feel free to reach out to us and we'll definitely try to work to um, incorporate, you know, the organization that you're passionate about. So for this restock, they, um, I believe it was the Ronald McDonald, Ronald McDonald house. And I'm not going to go into details. I will link her channel below. So, or her video below. So that if you want to, um, get the full story, you can, but this is Kim of Kim heart organizing. I think, um, I'm sorry if I messed your YouTube name up, Kim, but I will definitely put her, uh, her video 
down below to explain um, the this melt here. So um, her story was very touching. Um, and it's nice that Kim and Ainsley are like open to um, working with other charities or, you know, giving proceeds to other charities and not just something that they're passionate about, but something that we as consumers are also passionate about too. So I um, thought that was just sweet and so touching. So I definitely will link that information in my channel below so that you can watch that for yourselves and get the whole story. So this is lavender, fresh linen, sun-dried cotton and marshmallow. Oh my God. This is like the ultimate laundry blend for me. This is beautiful. It's fresh. It's clean. It's laundry. It's lavender. It's creamy from the marshmallow. You have some sweetness. Oh, wow. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm so glad I, I picked up two of these. Oh, wow. That is perfect. And then I have raspberry tart, and this is black raspberry, vanilla, and pink sugar. <clears throat> and you get that raspberry. It's a little sweet. It's a little tart. Oh, that pink sugar is beautiful in this. I'm not so much picking up the vanilla, but that pink sugar and black raspberry is so be uh, beautiful. Oh, wow. And look at this. This is gorgeous. Mmm. And then the next one is Like a Virgin, one of my favorite songs by Madonna. And this is Candy Apple, Raspberry, Red Currant, Cashmere Musk, and Orange and Lemon. I can't remember. I, was trying, I should have looked it up. Um, but I can't remember if that song was on the soundtrack from Desperately Seeking Susan or not. Um, I can't remember. Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, that cashmere musk is, it's giving like a warm, a warm note. You get all the fruit. This is like warm and comforting. Oh, wow, this is another beautiful one. Mmm. And look at that. Just gorgeous. And then we have some tiles here, and it says scrunchies and spandex. And I was a big scrunchie girl. I used to have the scrunchie. I would put it in my hair, have a big top bun, um, or like a big ponytail. Um, I have super long hair, so um, I would put my hair in a ponytail with my scrunchie and then just have it like flowing in the wind. <laughs> I was a true, true 80s kid. <laughs> 
um, and then spandex, like, you know, use your biker shorts, it, the whole nine. So, um, and then like the headband, and then you had the wristband, like, <laughs> yeah, the, the 80s were fun. So this one is Mandarin Neroli Amber Passion and Fruit Nectarine. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. You definitely get the um, the, the mandarin, the nectarine, um, the neroli. You get a little bit of a floral from that. Um, neroli, it, it's the 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 blossoms from from the orange tree so those little white blossoms that's on the orange tree that's what um neroli is derived from so you definitely get those citrus notes but it's warm from the amber and a little bit floral from the neroli mm. This would be a perfect summer fragrance. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would wear this as a fragrance. Look at that, so bright and vibrant. Mmm. Kim, if you ever make this scent in a um, body scrub, I definitely would purchase it. <laughs> this is beautiful. And then we have strawberry shortcake. So this is strawberry pound cake, glazed donuts, and vanilla ice cream. And I did get two of these. You guys, this is humongous and it is gorgeous. Ah, oh, it's so decadent. You get that denseness from the pound cake. You get that fried note from the glazed donuts. And it's creamy from the vanilla ice cream. This is like an ultimate dessert. Oh, it smells so good. Look at that. Look at the detail. And that's the bottom. And then I got a souffle, and this is Cotton Blossom, and this is Sun Dry Cotton Vanilla Bean Well. And this is another beautiful laundry blend. It's fresh, it's clean, airy. Mm. This is another beautiful one. I'm getting more of the um, sun-dried cotton, which is perfectly fine. Not so much picking up on the vanilla bean Noel. But this is beautiful. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to pull the um, items in the back a little bit closer to me. Okay, I'm back. So there um, we have Purple Rain. And Purple Rain is my favorite movie. The song is, like, my favorite song. I, I love that song so much. Um, 
Like every time it comes on, I, I sing it out loud. I sing it in the shower. <laughs> like it's just, it's a, a really good song. Um, I enjoy it very much. I enjoyed all of Prince's music. And um, this movie was a good movie too. So if you never got a chance to see this movie, it was a great movie from the 80s. This one is Fresh Linen and Driftwood. Like Purple Rain was that song where like if you were going through a breakup, that's the song you would play. <laughs> It's so sad, but yet so beautiful. Oh. Wow. This is so good. This is like beachy fresh. So you get like that driftwood um, that, you know, that you would typically find like on a beach or what have you or like under the pier. Um, so you get like that woody note, you get that saltiness from the, um, ocean, but then you pick up this beautiful laundry blend. Wow. And it's so weird because this laundry blend smells different than the others that I smelled. So it has its own unique um, scent to this one. And that's what makes it so nice. Like you may say, oh, well that one got the same scent note. That one has the same scent note. This one has the same scent note. But they all are unique in their own way. And this one, wow. This is just gorgeous. Mmm, I think I know what I want when they do customs again. And they say, what would you like to see in the next customs? I definitely want to see this blend in the next customs, for sure. Hopefully, we'll see it again. This is, oh my goodness. I don't know, I may have to hoard this one. <laughs> Until I can get more of that. I may have to check the website to see if there's anything, if there's any more of that on the site. Um, this one is True Colors, my favorite song um, by Cindy Lauper. And it says Himalayan sea salt, bergamot, jasmine, oak moss, and thyme. I get the time right away. You definitely get like that herby, herbaceous um, note of like a fresh herb. It's um, a little bit woodsy. Slightly floral. And it's a little bit salty from this um, Himalayan sea salt. Wow. I really like the thyme and it's like, it's just, um, it's giving it like a little bit of a bite to it. Mmm. It's different, but it's good different. And that's what that one looks like. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so that's that there. And then this one is graphite type. And I did get this in a sample in my last um, video that I did. And this is bergamot, lemon, leather, and tonka bean. And I do enjoy this one. Um, it's an, a nice masculine blend. Not heavy, um, not heavy on the masculine, but it's really beautiful. Um, it's 
if you're don't be afraid of the leather the leather is is blended really well in this it's not um too much where you're like you smell like you just walked into a leather shop it's not that at all it's just beautiful it's um almost there's like a little bit mysterious mysterious and sensual you definitely pick up that tonka bean um which has um vanilla uh, like a warmer vanilla note and then that bergamot you get that slight lemon in the background this is I like this if I'm not mistaken is this a BBW type. Hold on for one second, guys. Okay, so my husband does have the BBW type body cream in graphite. They have similar notes, so they're a little bit different. Um, they both smell amazing, though. Um, if I had to choose, I would say I like more of the blend that Kim did. This one is a little bit more sensual, sexy, mysterious. Whereas the BBW one, to me, I feel like I get a little bit more citrusy. Um, the citrus is a little bit more heavy in this one. Now, it's nice, but I prefer the one that Kim did. Because it's like um, a little bit more darker, a little bit more deeper. If that makes any sense. Ooh, so good. Oh, look at that. These wave bars are just gorgeous. Nice and thick. You can get a um, nice amount of melts out of this depending on your warmer size and how much you uh, add to your warmer. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this one is Big Hair, Big Dreams. Um, big Hair. <laughs> So who all used to tease their hair back in the 80s? So you would take your little comb and you would tease it up to give you like big hair and you would spray your Aquanet hairspray um, and you would have like, you know, I used to tease my bangs and make my bangs look really big. So when I used to put my hair in that big old ponytail, I would take my bangs because my bangs are super long, I would tease them up and like um, spray them with a the hairspray to kind of make them look fuller fluffier and a little bit shorter so that it really wasn't like hanging all like in my face like that crazy i know but um now that i look back at it like teasing your hair really isn't good because it tangles your hair up <laughs> but those were the times that was the fashion um and some people till this day still tease their hair which is nothing wrong with that i choose not to do that anymore because i don't want to have to deal with trying to detangle my hair after all of that teasing but those were the days and it was fun while it lasted <laughs> So, um, this one is Pink Sugar Driftwood Saltwater Princess. <clears throat> oh. This one is very, um, earthy, woodsy. You get that pink sugar. But I definitely get an earthy, woodsy, warm vibe from this one. Not really picking up too much of the Saltwater Princess. But I get more of that driftwood. And the pink sugar. This one's beautiful too. Wow, and look at this gorgeous color. On camera, it's not really showing, but it's like a, a deep wine color. On off, well, off camera, in real life, is a deep wine color. It is not really um, showing that on camera here, but it's 
gorgeous. It looks a little bit lighter on camera, but in real life, it's a little bit darker. Then we have I Love Rock and Roll, my favorite song. Um, I have this on my playlist. Um, and this is Skittles, Cotton Candy, Frosting, Mixed Berries, and Citrus. As you can tell, I enjoy a lot of the 80s music. <laughs> um... A lot of different bands. Oh, this is so good. It's sweet. Citrusy. Candy-like. Mmm. Yes, this is really good. Like, I feel like I'm a true rocker when I sing this song. You can't tell me that I am not a performer with this one. <laughs> um, and that's what that looks like. These um, multicolor stars. And these are perfect. You can pop one or two into your warmer and keep it moving. Then we have Totally Red, which we used to say all the time as kids. Um, the, the language back then was just... When you think about it, it nowadays when the, the terms and, and um, phrases that are said, people are like, what? Huh? What are you talking about? But when you think about what we used to say back then, you know, was this, we got the same reaction like, what? Huh? What are you saying? What does that mean? <laughs> so it's uh, as the times go on, you still come across phrases that sound funny and you're like, I don't understand what that means. What are you trying to say to me? <laughs> But Totally Rad was a one that was used very frequently between me and my friends. And this is Fresh Air, Ocean Breeze, Mint, Dates, and Lemon Pill. <clears throat> oh, that mint. Now, this is not a mint, like peppermint mint. This is like mint, like the mint leaf. So you get more of a, a um, of a herbaceous vibe from this, like that herb herb note. So if you go into the market, or let's just say you had a garden and you went out in the garden, you're you're growing mint. This is what this is. It's like that herb, and it's earthy. It's deep. Oh. And then you get the aquatic note from the ocean breeze. And that airiness from the fresh air. You get the citrus from the lemon peel. And you definitely get like the, the, the rind. It's not like um, you cut open the lemon, but you get that rind. So it's like that tart, bitter rind. This is gorgeous. I don't pick up any dates. But I do detect a slight sweetness. Ever so slightly. Wow. This is very good. This is very unique. <clears throat> I should have got two of these. So I'll definitely have to be on the lookout for... Quite a few of these blends for next time. Don't Stop Believing, my all-time favorite song from Journey. Like, love it. Um, this is Grapefruit, Mango, Ozone, Soft Musk, and Salt Air. And of course, it's in my favorite colors, purple and pink. You definitely get that grapefruit. I get the mango. Oh, wow. The saltiness. It's airy. It's fresh. A little bit. Um, I pick up a little bit of like a powderiness from the musk. 
Oh, this is beautiful. This is another one that if this was like body care, I would pick up loads of it. So Kim, if you watch this video, if we can get this scent in a sugar, I mean in a um, scrub, body scrub, that would be perfect. Oh, wow. And that's what that looks like. <clears throat> and then we have Meet Me at the Mall. And this is Pink Lemonade and Boom Boom Tight. <clears throat> You definitely get that pink lemonade. And then I pick up the boom boom in the back end. So this is <clears throat> citrusy and a little bit um, of, of body care from the boom boom in the back end. This smells really good. So just think of you got ready, you put your boom boom cream on, you know, all over your body, got dressed, you went to go meet your friends, and you guys went to the lemonade stand and got yourself some pink lemonade. And you're hanging out at the mall, you're window shopping. Possibly buying some new scrunchies. And remember the neon bracelets? Oh my God, I had tons of neon bracelets. Um, type in the comments if you guys used to have the neon bracelets. I had the neon bracelets. I had the neon rings. Um, and my mom was over it. <laughs> she was so over it. But that was the jewelry you wore back then. It was a lot of the, the neon um plastic key uh, bracelets and the, the, they even had the rings. They had like the earrings. <laughs> Those were the days. So let me know in the comments what you guys enjoyed about the 80s. Um, I enjoyed everything about the 80s. Roller skating outside, even though I didn't roller skate really well. Um, double dutch, jump rope. Um, sitting outside on a step or stoop whichever one you call it, um, just hanging out and just having good times and not having a care in the world, um, not having to worry about anything. You know, you just hung out with your friends. You had good laughs and you would go, remember the penny candy? Let me know if you remember penny candy. We used to have penny candy and you used to could go to the store and get the penny candy. And then we had like people who had like their own like candy store in their homes. So you would go to their house. They would open up their window <clears throat> And you would tell them how much candy, like a dollar, a dollar could go a long way with some candy. Like you can get a hundred pieces of candy and you were in your own little happy place or whatnot. Nowadays, you know, one piece of candy at Wawa is like 50 cent, <laughs> like a little piece of candy. But, um, you know, so you had the penny candy stores or people who sold penny candy inside their homes. Um, and you know, back then it wasn't a issue of you need to be aware of someone trying to harm you. It was, you know, you would go with your candy and, you know, you could eat and enjoy. You can't do that now because, you know, it's crazy people in the world. But um, not to say it wasn't bad things that happened back then, but the world was so much more, it was a lot more innocent back then than it is now and very much more enjoyable. Um, and, you know, kids could be outside and parents didn't have to worry about where they were at or anything like that. Like, now, you know, you can't do that. You can't let your kids just go outside by themselves. Like, the time we live in now, you can't do that. But it was so much more carefree. That's the word I'm looking for. It was so much more carefree back in the 80s um, than it is now. You know, now you have to, you know, watch your kids like a hawk. <laughs> Be careful where you let them go and things like that. Um, you know, now you got... you. 
my daughter has a cell phone. Like, listen, <laughs> you know, Pop Pop went to go pick her up. She called, was like, Mommy, Pop Pop got me. We're in the car. We're on our way home. Okay, great. <laughs> you know, and she's eight years old. But you didn't have to worry about that, those things back then. So the 80s were fun. It was a very carefree time. Um, I enjoyed it. Plus, I was much, much younger, you know. Um, as you get older, you notice a lot of things start to change with your body <laughs> um, and things like that. So you sometimes you wish you could go back to when you were younger and didn't have a care in the world, didn't have to worry about bills and all of that. But, you know, at some point in time, you do have to grow up and, you know, start to adult. But the 80s was fun. So I really enjoyed this release. Um, it just brought back such good memories of being a little kid and growing up in the 80s and just having fun and being just carefree um, and just enjoying your friends and family and um, having good time. So thank you so much, Kim and Ansley, for this release. I was a big fan of it. So um, I'm going to let you guys go because I know this was a long one. And um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're notified when I upload the next video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.